Consumer demand forecasting is hard and getting harder. There are more and more ways for consumers to purchase goods and for you, the retailer, to fulfill them. That means that demand forecasting has to take into account more things than ever before. We all joke that a forecast is a number that's never right, but that doesn't stop us from trying to make them as accurate as possible. So let's take a closer look. What is a consumer demand forecast? How important is it? And how do we use it? Okay, so what is a consumer demand forecast? It's a prediction of future consumer demand and a measure of the uncertainty of that prediction. These two components are used together to determine how much inventory you need to hold to maximize your profitability. And as you can imagine, your profitability is only going to be as good as your forecast. So we all want to improve our consumer demand forecasts. And the question is, what do I do first? Well, I always like to say, you can't improve what you don't measure. So you got to start by measuring the accuracy of your current forecast. Don't worry about how good or bad they are. It's just a starting point. You're gonna measure two things, forecast error and forecast bias. Error is simply the difference between what you predicted and what actually happened. Bias is a measure of your tendency to over or under forecast. If you have a bias in your forecast, that tells you that you've got some systemic problem that you need to go investigate. Once you've established the accuracy of your current demand forecast, take a look at the ones with the highest error and ask yourself four questions. Question number one, are you taking advantage of all of the data you currently have available? For example, are you including promotion calendar data, new store openings, and other things? Number two, are there other values you could be calculating and using in your forecasting process? One of the most important ones is lost sales. Remember that consumer demand is equal to sales plus lost sales. If you're trying to predict consumer demand, you need to understand what your lost sales have looked like historically. Number three, how many forecasting techniques do you have in your bag of tricks? If you're relying solely on traditional time series forecasting, you'll be fine as long as all of your products are steady sellers with a long life. But if you have highly seasonal items or you have items with volatile demand patterns, you're going to need to use machine learning. And finally, number four, if you have multiple techniques for forecasting, do you have a systematic way of determining which one to use for each product? Ideally, your forecasting system can automatically identify the best technique to use for each item that will provide the most robust and accurate result. So let me leave you with three takeaways. Number one, accurate consumer demand forecasting is critical as well as challenging. Number two, you can't improve what you don't measure. And number three, you need to use modern techniques like machine learning, big data, and smart selection to make sure that that you're getting the best possible forecasts out of your system. We at Inventor are here to help. Schedule a free demo to see Invent Analytics demand forecasting in action.